Welcome to Everdown! Number one sports play show coming out of the Pat McAfee Incorporated. Thunderdome, I am Tone Diggs. Atta baby toe. Bubba Gumpino, he's a Canadian sensation. He's a bearded wonder. Good day, Teddy. Good day to you, brother. Bruce, how are we? What's going on? Dude? What is going on, dude? The Masters. Yeah, the Masters is going on. Fucking right to this. Hmm? Fucking right to this. Fucking right to this, boys. Fucking right, brother. And uh, for that, around 3.30, we will have uh, DB on. The Junkyard Dogs. From the Junkyard Dogs, a.k.a. the Tour Junkies. Hell yeah. Tour Junkies, a.k.a. the Junkyard Dogs. Hell yeah. And Emmett McMahon is also here with us today. Tony, how are we? How are you, brother? I am doing absolutely fantastic, Tony. I did get my fucking teeth kicked in in the NBA last night. Hey, was, I think it was a tough night all hand around, up. brother. Yeah, hand up. Fucking teeth kicked in on the on the diamond. Uh, baseball right. was good. Uh, the HL and the association was not. So oh, I had the Celtics. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, we you. knew that was going to happen. Yeah. It, there was a weird line. Why'd you thank me? Well, you said the Bucs weren't going to win another game the rest of the season. Oh, yeah, fair. <laughs> fair, fair. That, that's actually what you fair said. Point. Fair, fair point. It's a fair I, point there. I, I also uh, <laughs> had my first. People have never really gone after me on Twitter about my picks. Last night was my first taste of it. Which you well, you're had. pretty confident at the beginning of the yeah, show, so that'll cool happen. Deal. That'll lead to that. Yeah, cooled off last night. Uh, the Mariners cooked one um, parlay that I think would have lost anyway. Um, and the Reds lost as well. Yeah, I saw the, Bruce, you cost me $300 with your pick. Here's an idea. Have your own fucking brain. Make your own fucking picks. Yeah, yeah. And, like, and if you're going to use someone else's picks, don't fucking blame them. Yeah, and $300 on Mariners plus a half, first five. Like That guy's doing pretty well for himself. Yeah, I'd say Not so. About that. Is that guy running a hedge Not fund? That. Yeah, I, I had like 600 but but... Uh... Jesus Christ, <laughs> what are you doing, running a hedge fund? No, I just won a lot of parlays. Okay. Fucking, you Tech, I'm in Texas hockey one. <laughs> Texas, yeah, what Clip, you, what Clippers you covered doing? easily. Clippers won. Yeah, I know. Covered easily. They play again tonight. Yeah. Ooh, interesting. Interesting. We'll Very take a peek at that. Uh, we will, have a hockey team in Salt Lake City here. We'll start with baseball here, and then we'll uh, DB and the Junkyard Dogs, aka the Tour <laughs> Junkies, will be on at 3.30. Live from Augusta. Oh, they're at Augusta. Are we getting, well, he lives in Augusta. I don't. Th- not from the golf course. Oh, can't have your phone. oh yeah, yeah. Damn. But and, and tease, they, they from the they wouldn't game. let him. Hey, they wouldn't it does let him. good tease. Yeah, they good have tease. a fucking show set up. No, good I'm, tease. I'm kidding. Uh, Wait, are they doing a show live from there? No, no, no. no. That would be. He was there yesterday, though. Okay. DB was at the course yesterday for practice. Yeah, and took it all in, brother. Do you play a part three this morning? I'm gonna. I'll ask. We'll ask. So do, you should ask that. Hey, JJ had some good info on uh, Rombo. Yeah, like said the dinner went well. That was cool. The hot vibes are high. Yeah. Dinner. Um, I love, I know you said it to uh, JJ. I love what Rom's saying. Guy's fucking speaking truth. Yeah, you know what? I took the money. Who gives a fuck? I, now I, let me tell you how I feel about everything else. Basically yeah. saying, do I love it here? And and also, I don't know, but I did. Yeah. yeah. All, who gives a fuck? He gives a fuck. He, you know, built his legacy at the memorial at the BMW yeah. championship. And those tournaments are nothing without him. And, and you know, well, haven't haven't thought about Rombo nearly as much as we would if he was in him. I haven't, no. We really haven't. But now we have to, okay? Well, that's what everyone wants to fucking hear what all these athletes think until they fucking tell them. Yeah. How about that? But now, today? What do you got? Let's start with baseball. And the Junkyard Dogs. And the Junkyard Dogs. Live from Augusta. Live from Augusta. <laughs> yeah. That's the title. That'll be the title of the podcast. Um... <laughs> Colorado and the D-backs just... Already fucking started, brother. Just went off. 1-0 D-backs um, in the first there. So we will start with the 345 first pitch. Patrick Corbin versus Jordan Hicks. Um, I looked at taking uh, the Giants because Jordan Hicks has been dog. a dog. And, and Patrick dog. Corbin has been not a dog. Um but the Giants haven't been hitting very well. No. Uh, so I'm going to stay away. I'm going to lay a half just because okay. I, I like betting against Patrick Corbin. Yeah, it's a good bet normally. Um, Just to get the uh, Blue Jays Mariners going right now. Oh, you do have the Blue Jays Mariners? George Whoa. Kirby got lit last Again, time. yeah. He's on He's on my no-fly list yeah, for he, a start. I'm concerned, He did not brothers. bounce back. Yeah. Oh, he did. I, What's I'm going on in that brothers. rotation? 
the, the M's. Theo, the M's. Kirby, they got nothing. They, got, they don't like, have flexing anymore. They got nothing. Sure. Feels like the M's are fucking loose. What's Logie doing today? How's he pitching? Uh, zero zero after one. Okay, they were favored in Toronto. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I'm. Yeah. My apologies for circling back there. No, 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 no. You're good. George Kirby's on the no fly list for a starter too. Yeah. I, I will start my I'm I haven't handicapped today, so I am doing it live. Okay, I like that. Um and I will start my parlay with the Giants to avoid the sweep against the Nationals. Can't be getting swept no. at home no. uh by the Nationals, although no, you can't. Although the Nationals are also kinda of one of those clubs where like they're in the basement and then they're in the World Series. So Yeah, they are. Who fucking knows? Um But this 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 national team, we we don't think that they're gonna be I don't it would be shocking. It would yeah, be a tad bit. A if tad bit. If you it like them, I would shocking. take a ticket now. I would get that flyer <laughs> yeah. now. Um, Razor in LAA, yeah. Zach Little yeah. versus Jose Soriano. Uh, I am going to make a play on this one. Raise. Yeah, I'm going to go raise. Yeah, first yeah. five, minus 120. Old Zachy boys went six and gave up none, went five and gave up one. Really good start to the season. I will ride the Rays here. I'll join you, brother. Okay. Yes, yes. I'll, I'll jump in as well. Another team just hasn't been hitting it all well below um, what their probable, probable average is, but I like the Rays here. The Trout's fucking mashing. The Angels are Trout not playing bad ball. No, Trout is mashing the, yeah. no. mashing the ball. Yep. Um, okay. Uh, Eric Fede. Goes against Tanner Beebe. That would be the White Sox at Cleveland. Fetty's, Fetty Wobbs pitching for the White Sox. Mm-hmm. Wow. We He's been pretty good this year, too. Actually, well. Connor, I know Connor is a big Eric Fetty guy, so you might want to get. Hey, yeah. What do you feel about Fetty Wop pitching for the uh, White Sox this year, brother? So, Fetty, Fetty Wop. Um, Stay away nor- from me. Normally great. Okay. He was good. For, but, used uh, to be. Yeah. He had a good run. He used to be. He had a good run. Yeah. Yeah. Good run. Now he's just. Yeah. Poop. Yeah, it's just not what Poop, he's brother. Just, well, just like the real Fetty Wall. Yeah, what's going on? How are we? How are we doing? Good. You guys p- do your Masters picks already? Uh, no. The uh, junkyard, junkyard dog. dog comes on at three thirty. Okay. Yeah. Well, ask. I want to know. Can you ask about Ricky Fowler for me? Yeah. Because like, Ricky, Ricky has something. There's something about Ricky. Okay, but yeah. did Ricky win the par three today? Do you know that? I don't know that. Okay, he was in the lead, and I don't know if is you that know. a bad news? That's, I don't know if you know this. Curse, no one, brother. no one who's ever won the par three has won this that Masters as well. Really? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Let me look. Well, this is like the year of firsts, isn't it? You know? Like? Like championship-wise. Okay. about all the teams that won since the last Masters. What's Denver. That? that was their first title. Sure. Vegas. That was their first title. Yeah. True. Part three. About Ricky Fowler. Ricky Fowler. That was, He won. You know, the one ticket I would have, and I I, I will ask the junkyard dog. Fucking leaderboard? Here? Stu Sink. Stu Sink? Yes. He's been playing very good golf. Is there like, um, can you parlay top tens, or is only that three ball thing the only thing you can parlay? You can parlay, uh, so, yes, you can parlay top tens. Yeah, and 20. Okay. So you can parlay Ooh, top, top, 20. top five, top 10, top 20, top 30, top 40, but you can't have someone, you can't have like Scotty, top 10, uh Scotty Hideki, top, top 20 uh somewhat Rory top 30 you can't parlay individually that. yeah they have to be you have to have like you could parlay like five guys top 30 yes you yeah. they have to all be in the same top yes. area bingo okay I do like doing that is there a Sam Bennett this year oh, I will ask that uh, is there a Sam Bennett ba- Batia yeah Batia maybe well yeah not an amateur there probably is a nasty amateur player as well that's who we need to find. Sam out. wasn't even the 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 top, top guy. Of, yeah, he wasn't the yeah, top exactly. amateur coming there. in. We need to find the amateurs because you can bet on them to be oh, top. Yeah. Like them to be top ten is probably crazy. You could definitely bet on yeah. top amateur as well. Okay, so I that, mean, that's what I. Who's that? Good question. Who, I need the top three amateurs. Okay, I'll ask. <laughs> um, just a, a Ricky and you, top you, amateur. If Thank you bet a hundred dollars on lefty to win. Yeah, $2. which he does show up to this tournament. The twenty-seven thousand, right? Twenty-two thousand five hundred dollars. Yeah, I saw a twenty-seven yeah, thousand out there. Yesterday. Yeah. Okay, so, so maybe that's. Maybe I mean, that's I would be holding the lefty ticket okay. when we I'll, get. I'll this. think about that one. Yeah. Um, also, these last couple day games for NBA. Just throwing this out here. Sam Hauser, fifteen points. Yeah, dog. Lock it in. And go to all the way to twenty because he will. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Hammer down, boys. Thank you, Hammer brother. Down. I'll get answers to your 
with your questions that ail you. The, the junkyard, the junkyard dogs will let us know. Yeah, they will. I do. Uh, let's, let's know. I need to know the answers immediately. I will do that, brother. Thank you, boy. Hammer die. Hammer. Um, is Sam Burns at plus eight thousand on a decent price? <laughs> we'll get there. We'll get there. I mean, I just got it pulled up. Like, where did we just leave off? Oh, Fetty and BB. I know White Sox and Cleveland. I got nothing. This isn't a. This isn't baseball. This is still sure. in golf. Uh-huh. There should be an option on a book that you either pick a PGA guy or a live guy. Yes. Yeah. yeah. They I, That's a fucking bet. I'm surprised I haven't seen that. That is a fucking bet that yeah. I would like. Yeah. PGA versus live. Yeah. I love that. Or. Like more guys in the top twenty. That yeah, makes legit. Sense. Yeah. You could do that a whole. I'm surprised the books don't have. It's like no, WCW versus NWO all yeah. over. Again. Well, obviously, PGA has more guys, so that they would be the minus. Yeah, yeah. Naturally, but yeah. Just some, some, some yeah. came to my brain. Yeah. I got nothing on. Uh, uh, I I actually <laughs> listened to um the first probably three or four innings of the Fetty Wap White Sox and the Guardians on the radio on my peruse my roundabout town home. Um, ridiculous what happened last night. The White Sox have scored like six runs all year. They scored five in the first inning, win a slugfest 7-5. Obviously, you're laying a lot, yeah, but I, I like the true. Guardians laying okay. one and a half. With Tanner? Yep. Mm-hmm. Um, we got Kyle Hendricks going against Dylan Cease. Cease. I, I, I just fade. I'm a fade Hendricks any way you, Do you can have a get bit of a problem with guy. Hendricks, Really? I mean, Dylan Cease can't buy a W right now. Give me the Padres first five money line, please, and thank you. Yeah, I'll join you, brother. I love Dylan Cease. I don't know if he has it like he used to have it, but I, I want him to. Okay. I, I struggle with this one because... I don't mind Hendricks, but Hendricks at home is a different animal than on the road. Yeah, yeah. Like I, I don't know That's at this true. juncture if the Cubs. You better fight. Yeah, Hendricks doesn't sleep. Let, let's not do he this. He can turn again. back the clock on your ass if you're, if you're not careful. I think. Um, but <laughs> I, I, I don't know who's a better baseball team here right now. Ah, who yeah. between who? The Padres and the okay. Cubs. Oh, good I'm, question. I'm confused it right now. It does on who's who's a better baseball. I'm team. saying all this. Hendricks is gonna throw a fucking no no tonight. Nice. Guaranteed. 100. Yep. yep. Guys going at least six strong. Yep. 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 If his arm doesn't fall off. Um. <laughs> no one's used to give up six runs put in the, the nail first. in it, brother. Uh, Milwaukee at Cincinnati. Wade Miley gets his first start of the year. Uh, I against I like Wade. Hunter Green. Uh, I. Ooh, I had it in. The, I had it start here. I thought I was going to be on Cincinnati, but I am staying away. Really? Yeah. I like the Brewers, so I'm staying away. I, I'm gonna. I'm gonna dive in on the Red Legs as okay. much as I love. Wade that was the Miley. side I was going. Yeah. I, I, Wade Miley bounces around, but he. You know what he is? Mm. He's a fucking inning eater. He is an inning. And there ain't that many of those left in he, Major League he's Baseball. He's an hour. He'll mm. give you an hour. Like it's like when Rick Porcello was with the Red Sox. He yeah. goes seven innings, give up ten runs. Mm-hmm. But it was fine. Fucking eat up innings, brother. Do it. Yeah, give me the Reds. Okay. Miami at New York. The Yankees weathers goes against Strowman. Strowman, um, been good. pretty good. Very good. Been yeah. pretty good. Yep. Round I, twelve, giving up none. I was talking to Ty this morning. It's kind of fun having nasty Nate as your your quote unquote um nasty Nestor rather as your you quote go. unquote uh yeah. ace. Because he's basically 50-50 shot, and then you got Radon behind him and Strowman behind him, who are probably might be better than Nate Nestor Cortez. Uh, Strowman, for at, sure. At the moment, for sure. Yeah. Rodon's off. Not there with Radon yet. Um, yeah, you cannot fade the Yankees right now. Yeah, I, I'm going to go uh, Yankees full game run line. Yeah, I'll lay a half on the uh, run first line five. really bit my yeah. ass last night. Yeah, I'm not, uh, I took that last night with the Rangers, and I'm not doing it. Baltimore still in Boston. Yeah. Cole Irvin goes against Cutter Crawford, who has impressed me so far this year. Fuck I'm going to take the Sox first five money line minus one twenty. Wow, good yeah. luck out there, brother. You're staying away. You're, yeah. you're staying away. I mean, I've been on the you Red don't, Sox. You don't trust Cutter. Game. I I love Cutter Crawford. He's putting it all together. I'm a little fucking Weary? disheartened with what happened okay. yesterday. All yeah. right. Fair, fair, very fair. Uh, I love the Red Sox in this spot. Cole yeah. Irving has been dog shit, real bad, um, like very bad. And Cutter Crawford, like I said, putting it all together. I love the Red Sox whole game. Okay, um, Jose Quintana for the Mets goes against Allen. 
believe it's Winnings. Uh, he's a triple-A guy. Uh, he's got good triple-A numbers. Uh, Quintana, good numbers so far for the Mets. I'll stay away. I'm going to take the Braves. Okay. Just just better ball club. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I agree. Feels like Quintana's yeah. dude to fucking get lit up here. They got that guy, uh, Albies, <laughs> Ozzy Albies. Oh, yeah. He's got the crazy wide stance. He's hit, he hit This four, Braves team is a fucking problem. He hits 400 dude. against left. Oh, yeah. Um, I just don't think Quintana's holding the two ERA. All I hear you. Uh, Houston at KC. Spencer Arigetti goes against Seth Lugo. Arigetti is a triple-A guy as well, getting his first start. Um, I'm going to go, and I know you guys aren't going to be with me here. Lugo. I'm going to go Royals full game plus the one and a half. Ooh, Lugo's been good. Mm-hmm. Uh, I got nothing on that one. Okay. Yeah, I'm I'm with you. Full game, Royals plus the one and a half. Um, Arigetti. Okay. He struggles with control. Oh, had to get there. You better fucking find the play, brother. <laughs> Don't love struggling with control. No. Heading into, although he did pitch well in his two minor league starts. Yeah. This season. Uh, and then the uh, last game of the night, uh, Oakland at Texas. Ross Stripling goes against Cody Bradford. Um, the Rags lost to him last night. Yeah. yeah give me the Rangers. Give me the Rangers full game money line. Uh, I'm going uh, Rangers uh, first five minus a half. I know the A's aren't aren't great, but they've, and I don't know if their rotation is great, but they've put together a rotation of names that we know. We do know the names. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. No, like I think I think I. No, we do. Yeah. That's like a I, fact. Right. Yeah. That's a fact. That is brother. a full rotation. They just, of, they just can't fucking field. Yeah. <laughs> that's the. Tough. That was the Red Sox issue yesterday. They, look, they just the bad defense is such a killer. Dude. Yeah. Maybe it's a Coliseum problem. Could be a Coliseum problem. Uh, they're, they're there, right? Yeah, this is in the in Texas. Oh no, they're in Texas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. maybe maybe it's a Coliseum problem. Yeah, but the Coliseum you got, you got, follows you around. Yeah, nobody's got weird uh, shade everywhere. Yeah, uh, I'm on the Rays first five money line, Padres first five money line, Yankees full game run line, Red Sox first five money line, Royals full game plus one and a half run line, and the Rangers full game money line. Let's do all first five, brother, because we did a full game yesterday and it lost. Giants minus a half, Rays money line, Dad's money line, Reds money line, Yankees minus a half, Braves money line, Rangers minus a half. Okay. Um, Bruce? This is the six leg parlay that I put together as we went. Yeah. Uh, the Giants money line, the Tampa Bay Rays money line, the Guardians on the money line, the Yankees money line, the Royals plus one and a half, and the Red Sox money line. I can better not lose, Bruce. <laughs> better fuck turn off your mentions, better, brother. <laughs> better not lose, Bruce. Okay? Better be perfect. Be perfect, Bruce. Be perfect. Uh, is our friend on the line? Uh, I'm calling him right now. Where's the junkyard? I, I can hear the call. Can I, uh, can I before we get to the junkyard, dogs, yeah. I'm going to wedge sure. this in here? Yeah, fucking shoehorn it in, brother. How much money have I lost on Air Miami lately? Ton. A lot. <laughs> Messi's back. They're in this concaf. Champions Cup tonight. Yeah, yeah. They're down a goal, I believe. Okay. Them to qualify for the next round is plus 310. Okay. Taking it. I have to. Okay. I mean, you could take a money line plus 200, but it's like, if, if I believe they're going to win, I believe that they're going to qualify. So okay. I think plus 310 is a very good number there. Okay. Yep. I like it. That's concrete. I like that Champions, too. brother. Joining us now. <laughs> yeah, friend of the program, <laughs> long time friend of the program, the only friend of the program. Yeah, really. pretty the only friend of the program left. I mean, we still have friends, we just don't call them anymore. Okay, I take that back. Fuck. Yeah, say, you're right. You're right. Say, say, of the listening, program. Well, yeah, Game we just haven't. Yeah, right, listen, we still brother. have friends of the program. We just haven't called them in a while. You're okay? right. You're right. Two years ago today was first time on the show. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. Show some respect. Shout out, Kinsig. Thank you. Kinsig. Shout out. Shout out. Um, I'm sorry, I misspoke. The junkyard dog himself. Mr. DB, Mr. Tour Junkie. Live from Augusta. Live from Augusta. Dave Barnett. <laughs> How we do it, boys? How we doing? How are you, pal? Um, a couple things right off the bat. Why 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 are you guys not calling friends anymore? Like what's the deal? We it, we, we talked we, we, talk, we talked we talked about this long. right before no, the show started, why? uh, Mr. Junkie our dog. I think it was because I was in Canada for so long. We did the FaceTime thing every day. 
And okay. then so now I just came back and, and now we couldn't face it, this is probably my fault. I, this is on me, Junker. Couldn't face time when Gumpy was in Canada, so you know we just got into a uh, lazy routine. Yep. Yep. Okay. Um, second thing, the junkyard dog thing, guys. What are we? It's what good. are we doing? It's We're workshopping it. You don't like what it? Do you mean? All right, true, uh, uh, true story. Foxy made. Yeah, this is on Foxy. Actually. Foxy made a little mistake before the show. <laughs> I, I said we we got DB on hammer down today, and he goes, "Oh, good. I'm gonna wait to put my picks in until the junkyard dog uh, is on the show." <laughs> <laughs> he just we, we told him we said it was tour junk. But just, now 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 you are with that being said junkyard dog tour junkies. junkies. Yep. Junkyard I, I do dog. think it's better than the junkie. That's way better. Because we originally we originally called you the junkie, which you know, the junkie yeah. has a negative uh connotation sometimes too, because those I do hear that those people that. end up in you know, sometimes the gutter and stuff like that. Yeah, like um, not in Augusta. I'm definitely though. not a. I'm not, I'm not one of those bad junkies. Oh Thank yeah, you. they are down in Augusta. They are in Augusta. Okay, um, good to know. You're a good junkie. But, you're a junkie who just it, fiends off of golf, brother. Yeah, baby. Like um, a junkyard dog. Okay, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right, you don't love junkyard like, okay. dog. Well, we will. Well, we'll, right, well, we'll, we'll, we'll only <laughs> call you junkyard dog when you're not on the show. <laughs> Okay. Right. Okay. Why don't you junkie. sleep on it? Okay. How? Who? who let's. Get, who's the bomb? DB. Hit us with the bomb. <laughs> <Hold on. laughs> I have one more comment. Oh, here we go. Oh, I, just, great. I was waiting for this to, one, brother. I have to. I have to take a shot because I. <laughs> dude. How are your friends? Speaking of like, speaking of the creatures that live under the bridge around Augusta, Connor. When he popped in a minute ago, yeah, looked his hair like was, his hair was a bit old. One of those place. guys, and slash, I don't know if you guys are going to get this reference. Maybe I'm too old for this reference. I don't know. Do you remember Carl from like Aqua Teen Hunger Force? I do not. Connor looks like Carl's like illegitimate son or something. Oh yeah, Aqua Teen Hunger. For, what is that? It's a remember it's Carl? A is a cartoon? Was that a cartoon? Yeah, wasn't it like okay. an inappropriate adult cartoon? I thought so. Carl. Yeah, it was on. Uh, it was probably on like uh, with Robot Chicken. Adult on, Swim. Adult Swim. There we go. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In Connor's defense, he was working out. He works out right after the show, so he was working out. Oh. And he popped in here. Oh, so that's thanks, his workout huh? here. That's his workout here. Okay, guys. Is Connor hard. the like next Jaylen. one in? Is Connor the next one at the PMS headquarters there to get married and like wiped up with kids and all that no, stuff? We my boy. The, the downtown so. boys are still running wild. Yeah, I don't, I don't. I don't think we're so. we're a couple it's... junkyard dogs downtown. <laughs> yeah, we're, I'll get. I, you know, what, I'm going to get odds out on that soon. Uh, okay. Well, right. You are live from Augusta. You were live from the course yesterday. How are we feeling? What's the scuttlebutt uh, around Augusta? Well, the first thing I'll tell you is um, four. Four barbecue Sammies is about too too many because I have paid the price today. I will Ooh, say that. Okay. Um, four? I love the bar the barbecue sandwich is my favorite uh, at Augusta, and four is too many. I didn't but, see that on um, Rombo's. Uh, that he wasn't at. Menu. I don't think he was at. Oh, the you didn't go to Rombo's was, dinner. Yeah. yeah, I didn't get to go to that. They yeah. they, they, didn't, they didn't invite the junkyard dog <laughs> to, the, to the champion. How, how could you catch it on? How could you? No, 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 it's not. No, it's not. That's the last time. All right, all right. Who looked? Um, at, who? What was? Yeah. What's the? What's the? What's the talk around town? Yeah, man. I mean, everybody's kind of you know deep diving into this weather situation. Yeah, There's always right. freaking weather at Augusta. It's always I, early so, too. It always feels like it's Thursday for some reason. Yep. Yeah. So so we're gonna get a little bit of that tomorrow. It's gonna it's gonna dictate some things. But um, what what I talked to yesterday was a couple guys who said the golf course was firmer than it's ever been, and Ooh. they think that was that's Augusta preparing for the weather Thursday Smart. so that yeah. they can quickly get it right back to where they want it, um, dude. One of my friends, Ryan Jameson, is is the caddy that was on Akshay's bag last Ooh, week for, oh, for week go. one. Week one, my boy Jamo, shout out Jamo. Um, he is also, I'm pretty sure he's a Hammer Down fan. He's a uh, he's a what? he's a he's a gambler. Shout oh, out, yeah, brother. Why did you and, let him go uh, get taped? That was ridiculous. Well, it, it, we talked about the shoulder and all that stuff, but Jamo said. Um, he talked to uh, Lance. Uh, is it Lance Bennett? Not Lance Armstrong. That's the guy with one testicle. Mm-hmm. Lance Bennett, yep. um, who longtime caddy, and he's like Lance said, dude, on Thursday or on Friday or not? Sorry, on Thursday when the last guy walks off the last green, they are going to kick that sub air on as soon as his oh, foot yeah. steps off the green, and they're going to dry that thing out so bad. So I think I think we'll see a soft course tomorrow, but we're not gonna. It's gonna be firmed up by Friday all over again. Yeah, Friday, so, Friday, Saturday, Sunday is supposed to be beautiful. So uh, Sunday they'll have it exactly how they want. It's gonna be a Sunday finish. So I'm not too worried about. Do you know who loves yeah. a firm course? 
Scotty Scheffler. Stewie Sink. There it is. <laughs> there it is. I don't think, is Stu in this movie? Stu's in, you fool. No. Not. What the no, fuck? He's not. What do you mean? Stuart Sink is not in the Masters. He was fucking he's played the it's... fucking last week, brother. What do you mean? Okay, last week was the Valero Texas. He's Oak. grandfathered in with the <laughs> fucking sunburn on his head, dude. Guy gave his heart and soul to the fucking PGA Tour. He did. He did. He, he, he did. He did. He did. He did. He did. He did. It's the not, Masters did, don't care about the PGA Tour. No, they. Brother. Did you see that melter he had uh, a couple weeks couple ago? Times. He was couple fucking. Times, sure. He was ahead. Um, DB. Um, I, we were spitballing earlier, and I think. Uh, mm. Do you not think there's a sports book? Any sports book. Should have you could bet whether a live guy or a PGA guy could win. That would crush. I, I think I've seen that though. Like I've seen where you can take a where you can take live versus PGA, like versus the field. Kind oh of really? Thing. See, because yeah. I, I was looking for it, I couldn't find it. I saw a top live golfer, but I did not see tour. You, I didn't see. I like, want like a head to head. Yeah, tour to win. PGA minus two fifty. Yeah, I saw I saw that today. Am I allowed to say any book on here? Sure, we're yeah. let it eat, brother. Yeah, let it eat. Okay, I I think Fanduel has that. Hmm, I'm the blue sure one. Fanduel has that. The blue one. The, yeah, the blue one. The blue one. God, That's where I was looking. Gotcha. I went I went under Tourney's the best. Green, the everything. green one probably has it too. Yeah, probably probably a lot of the colors probably do have it. I just yep. couldn't find it. I uh, believe they stole my idea. That book. <laughs> <laughs> Let's. Talk. I mean, I, yeah, I'm sure you're the only one to think of that too, Gumpy. When's the last time? Because I was Take thinking about it in my head. Dog. Was it like uh, <laughs> the Rory run? Obviously, Tiger's odds were absurd when he was on his run. But for plus 400 for Scotty, when's the last time it was that short? Like for a, for the Masters, Tiger. Like no, for had, the Masters, it was Tiger. It wasn't even Rory during his run. No, I, I don't think so. No. Tiger. no. Tiger's gotten even lower than this, I believe. Oh, I, I, oh, I thought yeah, Tiger was, was even money. Yeah, yeah. Tiger, you. Tiger, I think went off as, no. as an actual favorite once. No, he was not even money to win the Masters. He I wasn't. Think he was once. Are you serious? I Come think he was on. like oh, oh, two. You think so? You're saying it was what plus four hundred? I, I was thinking. I was thinking he might have been three to one at one point. Okay. I would. I would. In the top of my head, I was guessing Tiger was even money to win the fucking when he. When during the Tiger Slam and all that, I mean, yeah. I figured it was Tiger, Tiger even. More. I think 01 to like 06, he never got north of like six to one. Yeah, no, yeah, I, I believe that. I just don't know that he got down to even money. That's, you tell me Stu Sink went in the open in 2009. <laughs> doesn't get into this fuck. I mean, <laughs> oh, dude. Uh, but so I, want, I wonder if he knows he has such a big fan in you oh he does he we does. talk all the yeah, time does. what what do you how do you feel about rory brother or is he you think he's gonna show up or no i am a noted rory denier have been for forever i'm with um, you brother and, I, and i've always been right um but i but i will say i do think the way he's handled his preparation for this masters is probably the best he could have done i mean remember last year he dude it, this time last year everybody was tripping over themselves to bet Rory every possible way they could have bet it because he came into that press conference. He had played the weekend before. He talked about some crazy score he shot. He said he felt as confident in his game as he'd ever been coming into Augusta. He felt amazing. But all this pressure was on him. He had that 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 intense press conference last year. Um, everybody talking about him being the guy, and then he freaking trunk slammed. He was on his couch Saturday. Um, and this year, it feels like he's done everything opposite. He's He's been a little low key. His form hasn't been great. He finally played well at Valero last week. Um, probably, uh, you know, uh, w with the help of just maybe watching Stu Sink warm up on the range or something. Smart I don't know, but yep. finally played well. Yes, uh, last week hit it well. Did everything he needed to do. He didn't need to win last week. He just needed to show something. And and then didn't come uh, uh, allegedly didn't come on property until yesterday. Like didn't wow. even come to the course Monday. Avoided the chaos. Got the scaries. Uh, yeah, did his presser, and and it doesn't feel like anybody's like like it's a totally different vibe this year. It's it's Scheffler, it's Xander, it's Rom, it's Kepka getting all the love and all all the steam. So it is a better cocktail, I think, for Rory to win than it was last year. But I I still I I'm not I'm not I would not bet Rory to win this week. Yeah, me me either. He's not on my card. Uh, fun fact: Tiger was plus one fifty in two thousand one. Wow. He was God. minus he was minus one twenty five in oh seven and oh, plus one thirty in oh eight. Wow. Minus no way to win the whole tournament. To win the whole tournament. That that's Tiger, absurd. brother. That's, that's Tiger, crazy. Crazy. Bruce. What do you got? Um, that that's wild. Um, but. Uh, so of the live guys, Joaquin Neiman kind of seems to be the uh, it's so sharp, it's getting square pick where 
everybody's giving it's it out. Hundred percent square. I now gotcha. Yeah, I I do think he has a, you know as good a shot as as anybody. Um, but uh, of the bigger names, are we are we sleeping on Bryson Shambo at all here? Is he gonna open our this thing? Get his master's right. green jacket. Bruce, I mean, I, I consider you, you know, uh, um, a, a, a solid golf golf gambler. Um, you cannot overpower. But, but Bryson is not. No, Bryson is not wow. going to get it done. Yeah. I, I do think Bryson has the obviously has the long game to could to compete at Augusta, which is essential. But what he does not have is the artistry Short required. Game to compete at Augusta and the short game. I him from a hundred yards in with those dang six iron length, 58 degree wedges in it. Like I don't understand how he does that. Like a, a, a pitching wedge and a lob wedge and a sand wedge around these greens with these slopes at a six iron length and all his, all the BS he tries to calculate into every shot. I, I don't think works here. And I think until he re- relinquishes that a little bit when he shows up at Augusta, he's going to have a hard time. And there's been years where he, I think it was 2021, he finished like 46, okay? He gained like four and a half strokes off the tee. He crushed off the tee. And everybody's like, oh, yeah, that's what Bryson's going to do. But you still, you got to get up and down on three. Basically, no matter what you do on three, you got to get up and down for birdie. You got to get up and down. He's going to have to get up and down on the par fives because even though he's long, he will miss the greens on the par fives. There's other times you're going to have to get up and down on these long par fours to save a par. And I don't trust his short game well enough to contend today. But I do think Bryson has the long game, obviously, the distance, the mid irons, the long irons to to act to one day do it. But I don't think it's I don't think it's this year. Uh, I shit you not. Okay. Shit you not. I went through all my stuff, okay. and my four guys that I had that could win this tournament were the top four guys on BetTheNumberGolf.com, which is the custom model. Uh, that you have developed with your guys. Uh, great website. If you guys need golf information, golf betting information, it's a incredible model at betthenumbergolf.com. But you have Scotty, Xander, Windham, and Hideki. Oh, and those were those are the four that I believe in as well. Are those the four that you believe in? Uh, well, I so what I like to do is I like to build my own model. Yeah on like after bet the number publishes their model i will then tinker with it and do do, do my thing uh, my top four are scotty xander hideki and actually Corey connors the canadian okay wow. yes. but but uh yeah i mean i think wyndham clark has shown that he's uh you said wyndham clark was up there yeah. like like that kid went from zero to 60 in a major championship really quick. I think it's possible here. I don't think it's likely. I liked it a little more on Saturday and Sunday when I was starting to get into everything. I like it a little less now in terms of winning, but I do think he has some top five upside, top 10 upside. Uh, Connor, um, oh, sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. You know, I'm, 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 I'm wide open. Uh, Con- Connor wanted me to ask about Ricky Fowler. Oh dear God! Did he win? Um, did, is he, he win the is, par he, three? is he winning the par three still? Because we he, know we know who it, he was leading it when I he was leading it when I walked out. Same to take, to take okay. Yeah. So okay. what what was it? The players that's already happened. What's what that? what already happened? Yes. Yeah. The, the players I, that's already. Happened. I I watched some of that featured group that that he he snuck into, and I was not overly. Ricky had a great him. bounce back year last year. Yes, he, he has not followed up so far this year. Yeah, I, I think he was in a group with like JT and Scotty, and it was like, which one of these is not like the other the whole time I watched? Well, yeah, yeah. His um in 2024, his best finish is a 35th at Riviera. That's not good. Um, he's missed one, two, three cuts. And he and if you don't count the century, which is a no cut event with seventy guys, he finished fifty six. In not a single one of his events in twenty twenty four, which he's played two, four, six, eight, he's played nine events, and not a single one of them has he gained strokes off the tee and approach combined ball striking. Like that is a that is a major issue. Now we we do know that at Augusta, you you can if you're an older, more experienced player, you can come into Augusta not on great form. Look at Phil Mickelson last year. You can come into Augusta not on great form, and and your baseline goes up a little bit. You can do a little better than maybe people would project. Yeah. So maybe for Ricky, with his incoming form, that looks like a top 40, maybe. But, I mean, if 50, 50 guys and ties are going to make the weekend, like there's no way I would bet on Ricky to win. No, no, ab- no way. absolutely not. Connor also wanted me to ask, uh, do you have a top amateur bet? 
Christo Lamprecht. Ooh, I, I'm I taking like the that. favorite Great here. Name. Didn't this guy let us down at some point? I feel like I've heard this guy's We've name. We've never heard this guy's name because I'd, uh, I'd well, remember that name. I, I did tout him at the Open Championship, which if you remember there, Brucey Brown, he was your first-round leader. At oh, how does that make you feel? Ooh, yeah, well, how about that, Ooh, Hot out the gate. Now, that, from there, <laughs> from there, he did proceed to make the cut, but he, I think he finished like 74. That'll but, happen. Um, Lamprecht is the number one amateur in the world right now. He's, he's the favorite amateur. He's like 6'9". He hits it 400 yards, um, not really, but very close. Yeah. And South African, good. You know, South Africans have a good record around Augusta. It's yeah, like similar grasses and conditions and stuff. Um, but also a Georgia Tech boy. And I said this to a, a buddy earlier. When I was, so I caddied Augusta for a couple of years. Remember that? Yeah. There are four colleges that you know Augusta has a lot of membership that represents: University of Georgia, Georgia Tech, Clemson, and South Carolina. If you play golf for one of those schools, members will do everything they can to help you out, okay? Uh, they will host you to play ahead of time. They will make sure that you have a, a veteran local caddy walk around with you and your caddy prior to the tournament to give you some tips. They will make sure you get in a good practice round group so you can play. A, they'll schedule a practice round with a veteran that maybe walks around and talks to you about what's going on. Good to know. They will do anything they can to help their school look you know represent well at the master so i'm sure that christo being a georgia tech guy has had some laps around here and he's got he's had as many people as possible pouring into him a little bit more so than the other amateurs now i'm not going to take him to win the dang thing but like i could see him making the cut and i could i definitely would i wouldn't bet anybody else top amateur okay now before we let you go we can't let you out of here without getting fucking db's big balls big balls big fucking the, the bomb junkyard bags. dog bomb. I, I got a big Bomb that I'm looking at. It's uh, it's old Harry English with that, with that Ooh, fiery that plastic is. of his. What do you think about him? Uh, a hairy ball, huh? Yeah, um, nice hairy good. balls. Well said. I, I don't, you I don't, I don't, I don't mind. Uh, I don't mind a little Harris English. I uh, don't mind it. He's got the good, got a good short game. Hits it far enough. It's not amazing, but hits it far enough. And the, we know the irons can be money when he's on. It's not one of my favorites, but I'm not going to talk you off of that one, Bruce. Okay, who's your um, who's your favorite big balls? You don't have to give them all away. Talking, Obviously, you get them on there. Give us the one. Give us the one. Give, give us one plug. bomb. Give us the one bomb, brother. Let, let me try to sell you on one of my my biggest bomb. Uh, it, I, he will be an outright bet for me. He's triple digits for the in the outright market right now. Amber. He is uh, is definitely a top twenty bet for me. His best top twenty number you can find is around plus three fifty. I don't. I think this golf course suits Keegan Bradley Ooh. extremely well. Sold. But he but he is underperformed at Augusta National. And in his last few attempts, though, he has gotten a little bit better every year. Last year he had his best finish in a few years, finished twenty third last year. Right. In. I mean, you gotta hit it far, which he does. You have to hit it high, which he's one of the higher iron yeah. play, hits his irons higher than anybody. You gotta hit it high to hold the greens. Uh, you got to hit your mid irons and long irons really well, which he does. Obviously, a short game is terrible, but but guys with bad short game do fine at Augusta all the time. Corey Connors, Sergio Garcia, um, you know that that, that happens. Uh, bad putters do well there. Will Zalatoris is a bad putter everywhere else. Does great at at Augusta. So Keegan to me is completely overlooked and and under the radar. Um, and he's not playing amazing, but he's also not – he doesn't – his numbers aren't like Ricky Fowler bad. He's just kind of like humming along at average everywhere. I could see him um, – okay. I could see him playing really well. I said in the beginning of the year that I thought Keegan was going to kind of have an FU tour in 2024 for the Ryder Cup snub. I think he's going to go – I think he has potential to go bananas this year. I, we haven't seen it yet, but I, I think Keegan could have a big year and it could start here. Are we uh, worried about the ratings uh, being down or maybe even the tournament not starting without Gooch there? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, man. God dang. Huh? Well, they, you, think they'll, you think they'll let Jack hit the tee shot without? That's, without a, good, that's a good question. That's, that's, that's a really um, good question. I don't know. I don't know. We'll, I guess you know, we'll have to wake up tomorrow morning. And everybody can wake up and have a coffee and see what happens. All right. Who's wearing the uh, green jacket on Sunday? Well, if I'm not gonna, if I if it's not Scoot, right? If it's yeah. not Scoot, okay. I, I've ever that's how I always. If it's not Scotty, who? Yeah, yeah. 
Uh, my my two favorites are are Brooks. Um, okay. I love Brooks at twenty to one, eighteen to one, which he's he stayed. I guess people are a little turned off by his last couple rounds at Live Miami, and a little turned off by this putter news or or some putter changes that yeah. he's made. I don't care. Um, I think Brooks wants the Masters so dang bad, and I think he wants retribution for round four last year. Uh, I just think he's going to turn up and do his thing. And a guy that I also really love, and he's been bet down, he's steamed hard. Um, but I cannot tell you, I don't think I've bet on this guy outright in the last two years. But this is the first year, the first week okay. I have been on it. And on Saturday when we did our show, I said, I can't believe I'm saying it. But I actually believe that at 18-1 to 1 at the time, Xander Schauffele well, was, was the outright. Okay. Um, He's now down to 14. That makes me feel a little iffy because my problem with Xander has always been, you know, he just he just can't close the deal. Yeah. Um, and, and so I don't I have a hard time betting a guy at 14 to one that historically hasn't been able to close the deal. But 18 to one, I was really enticed. But man, Xander's playing so great. His his record here is fantastic. His press conference Monday, I try not to get too jazzed up about it, but I watched the whole thing. It was beautiful. Okay. He was relaxed, he was confident. He was having a great time. He just seemed like in the best headspace, which I think you have to be uh, to win the Masters. So um, I like Xander and Brooks up top. All right. Thank you, men. Uh, check out Tour Junkies on everything. Bet the number golf.com is awesome. We appreciate you. Good luck. Thanks, boys. Love you. Uh, you listen, uh, now that Mitt's got it figured out, like, let me, let me let me cook it up with the boys some more. Let's Hell do it. Yeah. Here we go. We will. Now that Mitch got to figure it out. dog's back, brother. <laughs> <laughs> See you, dude. All right. I, I, thanks, Tone. Thanks, Mitt. And thanks, Bruce. Appreciate it. Uh, <laughs> nice deal. Uh, see you never, brother. Enjoy the Masters. We'll see you next year for the Stay Masters, good. brother. Thanks for coming. Okay. Love you, Gon. See ya. <laughs> yeah. Good. So, uh, who heat. do I think is going to win? Good heat. Obviously, I have four. It's Scotty, Xander, Hideki, and... Uh, who else did I say? Wyndham. I like Wyndham's price, to be fair. Uh, I I'm, I wish we asked about JT. I I don't know what it is, but I kind of like him, even though he's been a letdown basically all 2024. Yeah, it's tough to trust JT. Yeah, I... Um, Not I'll just be 2024, 2023 is yeah, bad. Yeah, I'll, I'll be honest. Sometimes I just feel in my plums this magic where I feel like I can know who's going to win a golf tournament, and I don't have it much um right now i have a uh i have a uh seven leg uh three ball round one uh parlay it's siwoo uh russ henley brooks wendell clark hideki tony finau and uh the aforementioned Corey connors nice that is uh plus uh twenty three thousand. here we go something to think about it's good it's good yeah. it's good golf betting Good golf bet. Good to talk to the. I, I might just though. be Harris English Good. and Keegan Bradley only. Is Sam like Burns at, at plus eight thousand not absurd? Let's see if Sam was on any of my stuff, I'm just I'm just spitballing. I, I want to say his here. form is not spectacular. Yeah. Like I don't hate Com Smith at plus five thousand. I'd take a shot on Sam Burns. Com top, Smith, top twenty for sure. Com Smith feels like a massive overlay at plus five thousand. Right. I don't yeah. know what his form on live. Sam was like. not on any on any on any of my list. Feels like he shows up for the big moments. Yeah, and matter. the live form is so ridiculously I don't hard think it to matters. handicap because it just probably doesn't matter at all. I got a list of about twenty guys here, and you know, Tom Smith is not on. I'm gonna throw these are my uh, these yeah. are my junkyard balls, as as you would say. Yep. Uh, Brian Harmon plus like seventy five hundred. Okay, I'm live on that. Yeah. Lefties do play, well. and I am live on Cam Smith. And like I said, when Connor was in here, it's too soon. I'm gonna hold. I'm gonna be holding the fucking lefty ticket. Have to because you have to, and I also you have to have this ticket. I don't care what you think. You take whatever. You have to have Tiger Woods plus two forty to make the cut. Have to. You have to have that ticket. Have to do it. That's just. That's so if that, you lose, that's just chalk it up to the game. Yeah, that's 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 how you no, bet golf. Yeah, brother. maybe hedge it with a Tiger matchup. Yeah. No, no, just make it <clears> cut, brother. <throat> he looks good. He feels good. Looks great. Uh, let's do NBA. I got nothing. In Cavs are 18 and a half point favorites. Yeah. Atlanta's 10 and a half point favorites. Brooklyn's 11 and a half point favorites. Dallas, two point favorites going into Miami. Oh, I'm taking Dallas money line. Okay. Yes, there is a, I do have a, hold on, hold the phone. There was some stats. I saw this. Morning. Is there, are we thinking potentially a magic, uh, 
against the Bucks I with am. Giannis injury. Giannis injury, Bucks won. Uh, Orlando, Orlando lost. lost. Yeah. So we're thinking that feels like bounce a, back Orlando. So, so Orlando, uh, maybe Mavs Heat. Mm-hmm. Uh, Mavs fifteen and two ATS their last seventeen. 18 and 4 ATS is a road favorite. Miami 1 and 8 ATS is a home dog. Mavs 10 and 3 ATS in the second game of back to back. Okay. So you put me down for the Mavs. I might jump on the Mavs and the yeah. Magic then. I don't hate the, uh, I don't know what's going on with the Clippers and the Suns, but uh, they're back to back. Yeah, I, I don't know what's happening there, but uh, who's who's out for the, like, what is this line? Uh, this feels the same as last night. It is it? the same as last night. Uh, last night it was eight and a half. No, but like they're getting three and a half the, at home, right? Yeah, uh, it's five and a half right now is what I'd say. Five and a half? Um, oh, you know what? Fuck. Who's Didn't out? This. Paul George and James Harden are both out. Kawhi's in? Kawhi is not in. No. Okay. Starting lineup is... The line's eight right now. Yeah. Or eight again. Mm-hmm. So it went back up after the George and Harden injury. Um, yeah, it's like Terrence Mann, Zubak, Westbrook, PJ Tucker, and Norm Powell. Okay, uh, I'm out. But That's looking into the playoffs, I feel like we're. If you believe in the Clippers, and I do believe in the Clippers, and it has bit me in the ass numerous times in my, the uh, Kawhi Paul George era. Mm-hmm. I feel like you're gonna get some good lines on the Clippers in the playoffs. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah, but hasn't James Harden really fallen off a cliff? It's all right. Russ had a great game last night. Yeah. Okay. They're deep, man. Like, if they're rolling out their whole roster every night in the playoffs, they are deep. Yeah, give me the Mavs and Magic. All right. Put me down for the Mavs. I'm going to add on. Uh, I have both of those, and then I'm going to add on Minnesota plus five and a half going into Denver. Denver doesn't really have anything to play for. No. Um, and I just think Minnesota's good. Anthony Edwards is dog, dude. Or is this game for the one seed? No. No? No. No? No. No. Mitt says no. Mitt says no. Um, what are the standings ESPN, say? ESPN's telling me they have the exact same record. Oh, no, it is. So, uh, it is. Huh? You, you were very confident about yourself, though, which I you respect that. always are. I do like that. I if <laughs> You sold me, brother. <laughs> you always do. Was, yeah, I, mean, I don't know. This is like, the, winner, the winner will likely. I would like to say that. The, 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 <laughs> I mean, I asked, my, I, I asked that <laughs> question. I kind of. I, I don't did. know that I set you up for no, failure you because did. you just came out and said did. no. I knew it. But I kind of knew that they had the same record going yeah. into the Well, game. that does put more added pressure on the Minnesota Timberwolves because they have to be the fucking one seat if the Lakers want any chance of doing anything in this tournament. So, Fucking Joey Gallo just went yard for the Nats. Hey, I could hit on Christ. bad teams. Um, <laughs> NHL tonight, uh, three games. I got Oilers money line okay. and Coovers in 60. Okay. And then uh, tomorrow, footy, I got AC Milan, money line versus Roma, Marseille, double chance versus Benfica. Friday, Union Berlin, double chance versus Augsburg, and Lens, money line versus Mets. I'll probably tweet out uh, my footy picks for the weekend. Okay. I, I think. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we are uh, off Thursday, Friday. Uh, junkyard Dog just uh, texted me. What is it? He forgot to mention his favorite bet Shane Lowry, 60 to 1. Ooh. Dang. Now we're talking. That was now the biggest ball of them all. Okay. Yep. Not, not a lot of digit ball, but a good ball. Not a lot of undulation. Not a big <laughs> ball. Tons of undulation. Big Only ball. you guys think that, okay? Not a lot of uh, hills. There is at Augusta. Walking? Tons. Really? It's all up of, and down. It's hard to walk. Yeah, all up and down. It looks like it's not, but it is. But it is. It looks like gentle. Gentle slopes leading you. Things up and down, brother. Dude, it's fucking up and down, and it's yeah. and it's gonna be firm. Big come Friday. sky, Montana. It's gonna be firm. It's gonna be firm come Friday morning, brother. Anything else? Tony, I've got something for you. Okay. Well, Tony. Mm-hmm. Success in golf depends less on the strength of your body, more on the strength of your mind and character. Right. Arnold Palmer. Oh, nice. Hey. Good choice today, man. Good choice today. Well yeah, done. You didn't understand yeah. the assignment. He wasn't going to let down the it's a nice guard. pause, too. We were like, who, who, who? <laughs> All right. Well, it's good heat. Good luck. God bless. Nah. Ah.